Hi, in the previous session, we learned how do we create a list. We worked with a list of integers, list of strings, as well as mixed data type. And we also learned how do we apply the length function to get to know the number of elements in the list. In this session, we are going to learn how do we access individual elements of a list. A list is a sequence container where the elements will be stored in the same order in which you have inserted. Now, in order to access the individual elements of a list, we basically take the help of indexing. Now, the general syntax of accessing the indexing is like we specify the list object and we use a square braces and inside that we specify the index. In Python, the indexing starts with 0. That is, the first element is stored at index 0, second element is stored at index 1 and so on. Now, let us try to access the first element of this particular list. Here is a list of elements. In this, I would like to access the first element of it. Now, to access the first element, we specify the list object name, which is basically marks here. And then, as I said, the first element is stored at index 0. I need to specify the index 0 here. And if I just try to run this particular program, I will get the first element of the list. And the first element of the list is 12. If I want to access the third element of the list, we just need to change this to 2. If you want to access the fifth element of the list, we specify the index 4. So we learned how do we access the individual elements of a list. Now, the index should always be within a valid range. In case if the index is not within the valid range, like for example, I have 6 elements here. So the invalid index is between 0 to 5. Now, in case if you specify an index which is out of range, like for example, if I just specify an index 6 here, as I said, the indexing is between 0 to n minus 1 and here the value of n which is the length of the string is 6. So, the valid index is between 0 to 5 and I have specified the index which is out of range. So, whenever you specify an index which is out of range, you will get a runtime error called as index error. Right? So, it is a responsible programmer to make sure the index is always within a range. In Python, we can also access the elements using negative indexing. Now, we can use minus 1 to access the last element, minus 2 to access the second last element and so on. You want to access the last element of the list, we specify the index minus 1. So, we just specify minus 1 here, this will give me the last index. So, we can just see every element can be accessed using two indexes. One is the positive index, the other one is negative index. The positive index goes all the way from 0 to n minus 1 and the negative index goes from minus 1 to minus of n. Right? Negative index is quite useful when you want to access the last element because if you never had the option of using negative index, the way to access the last element would have been first find out the number of elements with the help of length and just specify n minus 1. The same operation can also be done by just using the index minus 1. Both these statements will give me the same value. Right? So, I can also access the second last element with minus 2, minus 3 and all. Now, if you want to extract a part of the list, it is possible. Now, when I say part of the list, like for example, I want to access the first three elements or might be second element to the fifth element or might be third element to the fifth, okay, fifth element. So, if you want to extract not one element but not the entire list but a group of elements from a given starting index to a given end index, we can use the concept of slicing. To access the slicing, we basically have a syntax wherein we specify the list object like for example marks here and then we specify the start index, the index from where you would like to start. We put a colon which is a slicing operator and then we specify the end index. Now, let us say I would like to access the first three elements. So, in order to access the first three elements, I need to just try to write marks of the first element will be stored at index 0 and then I want to access three elements. So, my third element is at index 2, but should I specify index 2? Let us see if I specify the index 2 will it fetch the element from 0 to 2 or something different. 
let us try to place this into a print statement here and let us try to observe this particular output here you can just observe i'm fetching only the first two elements the element at index 0 and the element at index 1 the learning from this is whenever you specify the slicing the starting index is inclusive the end index is exclusive let us say you want to access element from uh, index 2 to index 5 so we have to just write print marks of index 2 if you want to access up to index 5 then we need to specify index 6 right so here you can just run this code and you can just see we got elements from index 2 to index 6 if you want to start the slicing from the first element that is the index 0 in that case you can skip the starting index like in this statement i can also write it in this way wherein i can skip the starting index i can just put a colon and then only the end index these two statements will give me the same value right the same way if i want to fetch the last few elements like examples from index 2 to the last element in that case what i can do it is i can also skip the last index fine so what you learnt is if you want to start from the first element we can skip the starting index and if you want to go all the way up till the last element we can skip the last index we can also specify negative index while slicing like i want to access from uh, minus 5 to minus 3 i can just specify minus 5 to minus 3 can just observe minus 5 is the second element onwards okay to minus 3 is up to the third last element right we got those two elements now in all the slicing what we have done till now we have observed that it was getting all the elements in sequence one after the other if you specify the index 1 to 5 then it used to fetch all the elements in sequence like the element at index 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4 but sometimes you don't want all the elements in sequence you want to get alternate elements now if you want to get alternate elements okay not uh, all the elements in sequence in that case we can also specify the step value right so in order to specify the step value we need to specify the start index colon end index colon then we specify the step size by default the step size is one that is the reason we got all the elements in sequence if you want to get alternate elements we can change the step size to 2 like i would like to access all the elements from first to last and i want to get alternate elements so i can just specify the step size as 2 you can just see i get the first element i get the third element i get the third fifth element right on the same lines the step size can also be negative this will print the elements of the list in reverse order Fine. This is all about accessing the individual elements of a list using indexing as well as slicing of the list. In the next section, we are going to learn more about the various functions which can be applied on list. Thank you.